Welcome back. We're gonna continue the stream, and we're gonna we're gonna continue working on the tower builder and doing some things around the the tower modules. Um, yeah. Yeah, but first let's do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show what what we're gonna work on today. The, there are quite a lot of of tasks. I, I I hope I'm gonna get to to do all of them today. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but first I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a quick recap of what we've done last time. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think those four are the ones that we've done last time. Yeah, pretty sure those are the ones. So, yeah, the first thing that we've done was um, was a small improvement to the tower module inspector, and that is we've added the number of in and out ports uh, for for the modules. Uh, something small, but uh, yeah, the the level designer needed them. The, the second thing that we've done, we have implemented a system through which we can specify, uh, specify what uh, what modules should be used for a, for a certain level. And that system is basically a, a tag system. You create tags, which are basically just some simple mono behaviors, uh, not uh, scriptable objects, my bad. Just some some simple uh, simple scriptable objects, and then you are able to to add tags to modules. So so you yeah you 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 you, you, you basically tag the modules, and then after that you can come to to a level and say which module tags should be used to make um, or to to generate the tower for this specific level. Okay. The um, the third thing that we've done is is related to this in the sense that uh, it's about tags as well, but it it was um, a refactor of the code of the tower builder. Uh, the tower builder being a component that we so so this component that we that we use to generate the the tower itself. And we have rewritten this code to to take the the tags into consideration. And yeah, that's basically it. We it took quite a quite a long time, two hours from what I see right here, to 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 to, to rework this this whole thing. Um, and now we have, as I said, this uh, we have the tags integrated integrated into the system. And yeah, it it just works as 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 we expect. And yeah, this is actually everything. Yeah, this is everything that we've done. So now let, let, let's see let's see what what we're gonna do today. As I said, there are quite a lot of uh, of tasks that we that we're gonna go through. The first uh, the first five uh, are really important to, to to sort out right away, and we'll see about the the, the rest afterwards. But first, uh, we have uh, yeah we have two two bugs that we, we we definitely have to to fix. So the first one is just a visual bug. Uh, uh, the, the 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 laser like the the, the the line from from the laser from the from the laser weapon remains stuck uh, remains stuck uh, after the weapon kills an enemy. We, you probably seen uh, this behavior in previous streams. Uh, yeah, it's just a simple fix. We'll we'll have to, well, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to fix it. It's gonna be it's gonna be easy. The second bug is uh, something that we've looked at in the past, but apparently it's not fixed. We we have fixed something, but it where or I mean, while looking for this bug, we have fixed something, but. Uh, but, but apparently we did we did not fix the the issue I mean this specific issue but uh, by looking at the 
issue some more. Uh, we found out that uh, that it happens on a certain module, so we are able to 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 reproduce the bug uh, more easily. So yeah, we're gonna look into it today again with with this new information. And then there are three tasks that we're gonna do. Um, the, the the first one is. We are going to, 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 to do some changes again to the hells are not we're gonna do some changes to the to the tower builder and the the, the modules themselves. So what we're gonna do is we are going to create um yeah let's fire up paint and draw draw a little bit. So let's say that this is a module and we are seeing it from the top. And let's say we are going to put a an, an um, let's say that this is an import here, okay? What we are going to do is on top of checking this uh, this module as is with the, with the with the port at, at 0 degrees. So this is the the 0 degrees mark. We are going. Uh, we okay. I can't do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, on top of this, we we are going to also check this uh, by rotating it um, 45 degrees until we cover every possible uh, um, yeah combination. So. We're gonna check this combination. We're gonna check this combination. We're gonna check this combination. And unfortunately, with paint, I can't rotate by 45. But you can imagine that there were, uh, yeah, there are another four directions that we, we would have to check. So yeah, we on top of checking the the, the module as is, we're gonna check um, all the variations of it by by rotating it uh, in increments of 45. So basically, by by making one module, you actually make multiple of them. So yeah, we'll, we'll, it will give us uh, much more flexibility in uh, in using them and making uh, making the modules. Let's not save this. Uh, this one is yeah, pretty important. So. Um, in the if we look in the tower module inspector current uh, no not in here in the levels inspector my bad in the levels inspector when you go to a level you can see what tags you have used or you have assigned to this uh, to the specific level but you have no idea what modules um uh, what modules will be part of this level so so my idea is to to have a, a display here uh, below this below this list where you, you can see exactly what modules uh, will be used to, to create a tower for this level. And the last thing that we really must do this stream is a problem that we've, uh, um, I think, discussed last stream, which is because of the, this new tag system, um, you have to make sure or i mean we have to make sure that between the levels so let, let's say that we're on level two we have to make sure that we have uh modules in in the level two uh so that whatever piece um or or however the the, the level uh, the level one tower and uh, ends with with whatever module there is on top in, in 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 the in the level following that we have to make sure that we have pieces that will match with whatever could be on, on, on the first level or on the previous level otherwise if there's like uh, like with if in the in the second level we don't cover a piece that it's in the first level we don't have a a, a, a piece that will that will be able to come after that one from from the first level we will basically run into an error because the tower builder won't know 
how to generate a tower. It will just be stuck because it will not know or it will not have uh, pieces uh, um, to, to, to generate the tower further. So, so yeah, we'll have to do some checks in editor. So yeah, we don't have to keep track of everything that's happening. We will have errors popping up uh, in case we we detect that something is not not right. Yeah, so those are those are the tasks that we're for sure gonna work on today. And there are some others that yeah, if um, if we have time for them, uh, we'll discuss them. Uh, then and there, but uh, for now, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on those uh, those five. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, with this uh, laser bug fix. So actually, no. First, we are going to do an update. We have an update from our colleague. We're gonna have some new modules in here. Hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna work okay after the sync. Should work. Fine. Nice. Apparently there are some modifications that he still hasn't published, but that's not a problem. The the idea is that we now have some more modules. Let's see if we can if we can spot them in here. Have some mirrors. Okay, that's not. Not good. Why do we have those errors? So a bit of the groups. I see the new modules here. Uh, what the hell is this? Why is this asset here? This shouldn't be a. This shouldn't be an addressable. Okay. Save this, let's try to load this again. Uh, something's still not right. But they're not getting errors, but yeah, this is not working. Uh, for some reason it doesn't want to load uh, the images so yeah that's weird i don't know why is that strange very strange um yeah but uh, as you can see there are there are some new some new modules here and we will be able to see them in game, so yeah, that is cool. We should be able, actually let's let's try to play. We should be able to see them right away. Uh, that would work if we wouldn't get a or an error. Our generator is not sent to an instance. Wait, what? Uh, what? Is there a module that doesn't have... Oh, we're starting to see the... ...module that doesn't have a... I have to see if I can make this uh, retain the... Uh, the scroll. 
position. Mm. Like each one of them have. Um... Oh, this one doesn't have a module on the top. Yep. So, oh no, no, it doesn't have a. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't have at the bottom. My bad. Okay, so this won't work. This module is not good because it won't work. It, it doesn't have a connection, so it won't connect to anything. Yeah, the, the 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 problem would would be if if there's a module that doesn't have connections at the top, that would be a, a very problematic. Let's try it again. Still doesn't work. I wonder what's, what this is about. Oh, I know exactly why this is happening. This scene should be the active one. I think it's going to work now. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I should totally fix this. Well, this tower is not that exciting. It's just parallel lines and the helix at the top. Let's let's try again. Still using the the old modules. If we can start with the with the, with one of the new modules, we would have a yeah. Still this okay. I'm gonna try once again to see if I get a new module, but oh, 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 we have we have some new modules, but they're okay. They are set up wrong. Okay, we have some issues. Zarnot, fix this. We have issues with the new modules. Anyway. I mean, the, the Thai one is not, I don't think it, no, I, I for sure think it's not set up correctly. I mean, yeah, you have changed something in the Thai one, but you haven't pushed the change. Ah, okay, I'm, well, if it breaks my tower, yeah, you should hurry up with them, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another tag because for for, for what I uh, well this says that you have some changes. Okay. Okay, that's weird. Then anyway, it doesn't matter because because for my for my task I don't really care about them. Um, yeah, I will sort them out. Not a problem. Okay, so yeah, as I said, we are going to look at this this problem with the laser. Um, 
So let's start the timer for this. Um, yeah, I'm going for the, for the time being. I'm gonna make a new tag and just add. I don't know, maybe the straight piece of it or something. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna add. Uh, where are the tags in tower? Yeah, tower module tag. Um, 180 tower module tag, sure. Because uh, I'm going to need this for. For, for the next block, but I'm going to use it now because it's going to be easier. OK, so not that tag. I'm going to use only this tag. And we're not going to go to the second level, so we don't care about that. So let's play and we're going to add a laser and we're going to. Oh, wait, what? Huh. And now this is interesting. Why doesn't this work? Okay. There's the debugger, I guess. Have an update here. Or actually here. Yeah, let's play. We have a hit. So 12 modules and yeah, we were left off to, with two. Okay, so. What? The second call was the problem, but not the first one. Let's try it again. So two modules, we have 180 and 180 reverse, we get a random one. So now if we go here, the previous module is 180 reverse, we have one tag, which is the 181, that's perfect. What? Get, get next possible modules. What? What's wrong here? Wait. Why are those the same? The reverse is not correct. What the hell? The reverse should be 180 and 0. Okay. It's gonna work now. We're gonna have a spiral tower. I'm, I'm not for sure. Yeah, one module. One module, yeah, now it works fine. There we go. Let's pause the game. Um, actually, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Let's put a laser. Uh, let's upgrade it like a bunch. Just so we make sure that it's gonna start killing something after it's done. Uh, let's. Yeah, so this is the problem that we have. This is what we have to fix. So the problem comes from the fact that we are killing the enemy, but when we do that, I mean, no, we are hurting the enemy, but we're not looking if he's 
dead basically so um yeah i'll have to we'll have to do that so in the laser laser attack uh let's see where is that so on update yeah here Well, now there there is one problem. Um, take damage. Let's see who's who's hooking up. Uh, hooking up into this. Uh, L zero is gonna give us a reward. So that's right. Oh, never mind. Here is the what we're looking for. Yeah, this release. So we are moving the entity and then we are releasing it. I feel like we should do this like after like a couple of frames. Because the reason why I'm doing this is just so we can get the, the collider out of, I mean, the, the entity from whatever collider he's in. But I feel like this release it just um, just gonna set it to inactive immediately, and the this check is not gonna happen anymore. So I might just make it so this happens like a bit after. That's easy to do actually. Yeah, let's try to let's try to fix this. Private bool. Um. Let's try this. Basically, we're gonna wait for the next frame to to release the enemy back to the back to the pool. Okay. Nope, still doesn't work. Uh, let's pause this. Uh, let's put a breakpoint here. Let's put a breakpoint here. Laser attack, let's put the breakpoint here. Let's unpause. Okay, we got a, we got a hit. 
Uh, eh, well, unfortunately, we can't know which enemy is this one. It's hitting it. Now we are in release. That's where we want to be. We are now in update. But now we got here again. I think I'm going to make this return. Or maybe. But actually, it should do this, no? Uh, hide the laser. Hmm. It's not dead, we're gonna do this. But no, at the same time, it's, it is a problem because... Let's put a breakpoint here. Let's do this. Uh, no, let's stop this. Let's advance. And... Yeah, we don't care about enemy health. Um, we sort of care about this, maybe. Uh, I think we should do this with... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do it with 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 uh, with the update method. We're gonna do it with a core routine. I think. Yeah. 
I enumerator um, and I want to call it release, but so yield return new wait for end of frame let's wait for three frames and then do this over here i'm gonna say start coroutine name of this here i'm gonna do just in case we're gonna do stop coroutine with the same name Let's try this. Let's unplay and now oh, I need uh, breakpoints. Laser. We are ready for this. Let's speed up the the game. Now here we have a hit. Is it dead? No. Actually, I'm gonna put a breakpoint here. Yeah. Okay. So now, whoever this enemy is, he's dead. Um. Let's put a breakpoint here now. That, yes, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, this doesn't work. That's so weird. Transform position is this. Ah, uh, but I put the pause on this. I wanted to see where this enemy was. Actually, I can't see, right? Because I can say... Doing object... Come on, let me write it. Transform that position. It's still here, wait, what? Why is it still here? Why did it not move? This is the... Game objects. Let's try with root. No, root is still here, which I think root is actually the same object, but doesn't matter. Yeah. Why the hell isn't my enemy in its new location? Because the movements moved it back. Because the enemy movement moved it back. That's that's why. Pretty sure that's why. So enemy's movement. Pretty sure here we need a reference to the. Why is this going insane? Uh, we need a reference to the 
enemy health. Yeah, we don't have one. Let's put a reference to the enemy health. Yeah, let's copy this. Public enemy health, enemy health. Any enemy movement, we're gonna say if we're not playing or it stopped or e dot enemy health dot is dead return so don't do anything so let's stop the breakpoints let's get rid of the pause and let's get rid of this so now oh thanks thanks for the fix um So let's play again. So I think we're not gonna have this error anymore. Uh, let's get the breakpoints back on. Laser, we have the laser. Let's upgrade it a bunch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh yeah, of course. It, this is not gonna work if I don't assign the the damn thing. Oh, uh, and we have to go through all the enemies and assign it. God damn it. Well, that's what you get for doing this. Um, enemy health, save back. Liar, enemy. Is the movement here? Enemy health, save back. Healer, health, save back. And this is the last one. Let's try it now. Play. Yeah, uh, that error is fine. Let's put a weapon. Let's upgrade it a bunch. Okay, we've upgraded to the max. I mean, the, the maximum that we can do with no money or with the money that we had. So now we have a hit here. Cool. Is it dead? No. So we don't care. Now another hit. Now it is dead. So now it's moved. Is it dead now? Yes, it is. And now it's out of the, out of the range. Hell yeah. And now we release it and that's so helpful. It's a it's a vector tree. That's okay. That's what I wanted to see. It is minus one hundred. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, let's stop the 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 breakpoints and let's play. Yep. It works as it as it should. The enemy is gone, and the the laser just disappears. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this is fixed. Let's... Uh... Damn, I've modified a, a couple of things. Um... Not going to okay let's see what I'm going to something as default oh yeah because I removed that one right yeah okay yeah I'm gonna cherry pick what I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the in the commit uh not the modules not the tag this for sure let's let's look up yeah that's what we've added any movement, 
we basically added the check. Yeah, that's right. And in the data, we've added the, the reference. Yep. Uh, and me, this thing, I don't think, yeah, we'll have to see in the future. Actually, yeah, let's add that right now. Um, Okay, so I don't think I need all those three frames, but uh, it works for now, so we're gonna keep... Oh, come on! That's so shitty. That's fine. I have to reselect those things again. Do, do, do. Okay. So I think that's everything that I need to 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 put in the change log. Yeah. So this is a fix. Cool. One bug fixed. Uh, let's get to the next one. So this is the one with the with the healer or the problem with the healer. Where we'll have to see why this happens, but. This is a weird one. Wait a second. Does the flyer have a... No. It's it, uh, not a flyer. The, the healer. Ooh, I think I know why this is happening. Oh, I think I know why. Oh, yeah, that does make a lot of sense. That makes so much sense. <laughs> I know, I know why this is happening. Um, yeah. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, discard the changes. Let's try to reproduce the bug. So, yeah, let's play this. Let's add a laser. Though, though we've had a laser previously and it did, it did not work with that one. Oh, no, it works. Okay, okay. Now let's let's try my fix. Um, so enemy detector, and I said I need to put minus seven here. Oh, seven. Okay, right, let's save this. I think it's just gonna work now. Pretty sure it's gonna work. And if this this works, I'm gonna explain what's happening. So laser, put the laser. And these should just start walking as, yep, 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 yep. Uh, let's try it multiple times though, just to be sure that it was not a fluke. Cause I'm not sure that it's uh, it has a 100% repro rate. So I don't know if it's happening all the time. We have seen it multiple times with this module. Oh, okay, okay. So this is not the problem. Oh. Okay. Huh. Now this is weird. This is so weird. What is this? This 
is this is very strange. Okay, we need to put some breakpoints. Yeah, so my thinking was actually, uh, my thinking was that the come on, play, play, play. Let's put a laser there and let's pause this for a, for a moment. Have I disabled? No, I don't think. No, yeah, that was somewhere else, right? Wait, what? Okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, so my so my thinking was that let's put this in here like so. Oh, it's still there's still something there. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe maybe I'm the weapon detector. Oh. Yeah, so 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 my thinking is the following. Um and I, and I think it still applies. So the weapon has a collider which goes more or less to the to the center of the of the tower, which doesn't matter. So it's it, it it's not a decision that I that I took based on something. It's just that's just how it was. And my idea was that let let's actually draw this. My idea was that maybe the when the enemy was spawning, it was so. This is this is the collider of the enemy. Maybe it was hitting this this collider when it was spawning, and whatever some weird stuff was happening, and the the, the enemy decided that oh no, I should stick to the tower. And yeah, I think that's that's still the case. Let's try to fix this again so the weapon detector had the same problem so let's put a 7 here as well yeah okay sure 7 works let's see let's go back and let's play let's try it now Okay, so it worked now, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's try it again. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the laser, but okay, sure, whatever. Okay, it worked now too. Let's try again. Yay, we got a fix for the weapons. I'm gonna get it uh, in just a moment. Nope, that's not a problem. And now it's for sure not hitting the collider. So what's going on? Why does it, What does? why does this stick to the tower? Okay, uh, time to put some breakpoints. Let's remove all the ones that we have currently. Let's close everything. And let's go to the healer. To the, to the healer code and see what's going on here. Let's add a check here. Enemy exit, sure. Let's add a check here. On weapon exit, yeah, this is the, the, the good one. Because here is where we're doing all the th all the things. So yeah, we're gonna try this.
Otherwise, I think this is the false. That's that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. No. Now let's try this. Let's get the fix. We're gonna have some conflicts, pretty sure. Hopefully not. Nice, no no conflicts. Cool. Uh yeah, let's look at this. Um so let's play. So let's put the laser there. So we should get oh god damn it, I forgot to forgot to check that. Oh, God damn it. We have to do it again. We are still attached, yes. Okay. On weapon exit, we have this. Is this active? No, it's not. Are there any healers in range? No, there, there are none. So... We are going to attach ourselves to the tower. That is right. Now let's wait for... You... Ah. A healer in range. Yes. Detected each other. Wait, why is there a... Because it hit another collider. Okay. Wait. We are going to add the same thing. What healer is in range? It's a list. I should make this a hash set. Yep, we've added this, the, the, the same healer twice. I'm gonna make this a hash set. Yep. So now we got here again. So this is not active. Are there any healers in here? Yeah. So there are three healers. Yeah, sure, mate. Three healers. Sure. Now we're removing it. Um. Yeah, let's make this one change here. No. No, let's. No, no, no. We're gonna keep it just so we don't don't screw up with the test. We're gonna keep that, but we are going to modify that into a hash set. So we don't have the same enemy multiple times in the list. But that will... Move us up, so this is not active, no healers, yada yada, that's cool. And now we got in here, on weapon... E God damn it. On weapon exit, is it active? No. Weapon exit. Why would we hit this? On object detector, on exit, on trigger. Enemy detector. So it's coming from here. I'm going to put a breakpoint there. Okay. Uh, and now everything's messed up. Let's try this again. What? Okay, let's see. Who am I? I'm a cylinder. No. The other is a cylinder, but who am I? Enemy detector. Enemy detector of whom? Who's the root? The root is a healer, and... 
Where does the the cylinder come from? Oh, the cylinder is it the tower? I think it's the tower. Um, uh, no other parent. Uh, Oh, is a module? No, that's the wait. What? Uh, it's a module. Okay, so it is the tower. So it says that we're colliding with the tower. Get object collider from game okay, object from collider. Okay, that's the game object. If it's not contained in this, we are going to return. And we did, okay. Another, another exit from the cylinder, okay. So the laser, okay, we got another hit. This is a collider, so. That doesn't help me. Dummy laser weapon. Okay, so the other it's a dummy. The other is the the weapon. That's right. It's yeah. It's just exiting that. Okay. Is the root? I mean the enemy. I assume. Is there any, uh, I can put a name there. Not name, right? It's gonna evaluate to exactly what I need. Okay, cool. So it's not in the range, so it's gonna return. Dummy laser weapon clone rendering. Okay, this is gonna stick to the tower. Cool. And now we got another one. So the healer enemy is colliding with the tower. Cool. Does it pass this check? Uh, yeah, doesn't know what the game object is. Let's try it again here. Doesn't pass filter. True, okay. What's the, what is this filter though? Actually, no, we can go inside a filter here. What are those filters? I'm not gonna see it from here. Oh, not this, as in don't hit the... Okay, and is enemy, okay. Okay. It's gonna return, that's right. Got some cylinder. The killer and the module again. Return again. Dummy laser weapon. Who is this? The weapon collided with the healer. How is that even possible? How can this weapon collide with this? I mean, actually to be fair, I'm not sure if it's this enemy. Maybe it can be this one, but I doubt it's this one. Very much doubt it. 
still goes into return. Still goes into return. Still goes to return. But damn it, there are so many. And now this passed. Wait, what? What? I'm used. How did the how did we hit the laser? Or or not hit the laser, we, we actually exited from I mean wait, what? And now this is gonna stick to the tower. No killers, this is not active and it's gonna stick to wait, what? I'm very confused about what happened here. How can those two collide? How can those two collide? It makes no sense. No sense at all. This is kind of hard to debug, to be honest. Uh, kind of hard to debug. Can I make it any easier? Hey, um, yeah, let's do some logs. Come on. What? Okay, what do I want to log? Root is the root name. Other is uh, game object dot name. And actually, I want to put here a uh, root that Transform position, and here we're gonna put in parentheses uh, go that transform that position. This is enter, and we are gonna do exit as well. And the message is gonna be the same. So now let's get rid of the breakpoints and we're gonna do another run and see what the what the logs are telling us who is colliding with who and yeah whatever
happens there. So let's try to reproduce the bug. I want the laser. Let's put the laser there. Let's put a po Ah, yeah, we already see that we did not reproduce a bug. But okay, so we have. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so enter, exit, enter. So it entered the enemy detector, it exited the enemy detector, and then it entered the enemy detector again. Okay. Fortunately, yeah, this just started as, as it should, so yeah, we have to try it again. Enter. Exit and enter, and now that worked. Uh, let's try to give us a little bit of no, 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 that's not. No, we're not gonna uh, change the enter, exit and enter, and now it worked. What? Doesn't make any sense. Finally. So we have the enter, exit, enter from that one, and then we have an enter. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, stop, let's stop this. Uh, so those are the ones that we are going to look at. So we are spawning a healer at 000. zero, zero. And then it's being, and then it's being moved. Why are we spawning it at zero? The healer pool only has one object, right? No, it has a chunk size of 10. But all of the objects are spawned at zero 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 by default, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, healer. Yep, all my all my healers are at the center of the world. Okay, that's the problem. The problem is that we are getting an enemy from the pool. And when we get it from the pool, we are in, uh, we are activating it. So basically, the equ equivalent of, of of click on this check, and its position is right in the in the in the path where it's colliding, uh, or not its position, but but its detectors and stuff, uh, its colliders are. Being um, or are colliding with the with the with the with the weapon. So basically, it starts in the middle, and then the enemy movement script kicks in, and it puts him on the uh, on the path. And that just means that yeah, he was inside of the of the weapon, and then he was moved outside of the weapon, and then that whole thing triggered triggered this. Because now we hit the outside of the weapon, and it's now, and there's no other healers around, so he just says, "Okay, it's the perfect time to stick to the tower." Okay. Okay. I don't know how to fix that yet, but 
at least I, I know what's happening. Okay. Let's uh, change those into hash sets. Oh. Okay, let's get rid of everything here. Actually, let's get here and yeah, th those was, those were all. Okay. Okay, um, we are going to try something. Let's go into object pool. And here we have a spawn sink. We have a, this is the parent. Let's try to instantiate everything one kilometer down. I think this is going to fix our problem, but we're not going to keep it like this. Uh, but this is going to be, yeah, just so I have the idea why this is happening. So let's play. So I'm basically confirming the fix right now, but we're not going fix, to fix it exactly like that. Let's play. Okay, that happened before. Let's try it again. We have to get rid of those uh, logs right away. Laser, the laser, play. That sticked, that didn't stick. That's perfectly fine. Let's try again. I'm gonna try it three more times. And if it works, we're gonna roll with the fix. Yep. Nice. And one last time. Okay, so this works. We're not gonna keep it, keep it though. Not like this, though, at least. Um, do I need to go here, here. I need to get rid of those two logs. Okay, let's see what we have changed in here. Um, something in the healer, the hash sets, I think. Yep, the hash sets. Object detector, what have we changed here? Probably an import. Yeah, we don't need the logger anymore. So let's save this. And nothing else. Actually, the, the, the healer prefab we're gonna, going to omit. Or no, let's let's do it right now. No, let's let's fix that right now, and I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna make the, move the fix into the other into the other project. Okay. So how we are going to fix this is, um. I am going to add another property here. Let's 
let's look at the object pool. Yeah, I'm going to say after template, private, private vector 3. I'm going to say spawn position. We don't need required, only, to, only for it to be serialized. Here we're going to use that with quaternion identity. I have to make sure that I put them away from the tower. Actually, I'm going to do that to all of the object pools. So minus 100. Uh, object pool. Okay. Let's try it again. Just to make sure that it's working fine. Laser, put the laser. Yep. Okay. Actually, also let's let's verify that they are being spawned in in the place that I specified. I mean, 100 meters below the tower. Uh, small enemy. Yeah, small enemy is there. Let's look at the healers too. And yeah, they are 100 meters below the. Oh, why are there only six healers? Didn't I say that that I wanted ten? Okay, there are missing healers. Oh no, never mind. I paused it too too early. Yeah, there are 10, 10, 10 healers. That's that's correct. I'm not spawning the the, the all the objects in the pool um, in the same frame. I'm uh, I'm spawning them uh, one per frame or a couple per frame, I think. How many do I spawn? Yeah, one one per frame. I'm I'm spawning one per frame. But if you if you want to get an object from the pool and I don't have one, I'm gonna spawn one immediately, and then do the rest of the chunk uh, in 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 following frame in the following frames. Cool. Okay, so this is fixed. And on top of this, I'm going to make another task in. So this is 43 minutes. Uh, I'm going to do an add another task in ES framework. So I move this this fix to the to the other repo as well. Small, medium, healer, healer prefab, yeah, killer asset, flyer, and big, and object pool, that's the, that's the fix right there. Okay, that should do it. Watch this, and let me go real quick to the... Where is it? Um, yes, framework. There we go. A task of uh,
Okay. It's misc, uh, and it's very important. Okay, cool. So I made the, I made a task to move this this file to the to the to the project for uh, ES framework, so I don't forget about it. Cool. So so we we, we are done with with bug fixing for for today, and now we're gonna go to to the. The new features. So we're gonna start with this one, and this is gonna be the the, the big one. So, yeah, as I said previously, so what this entails is that we are going to make. So, so there there will be some modules that we will be able to to rotate them, and still they will still fit with other pieces that we're gonna create. So that's exactly exactly what we are, we want to do. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's start this, and we're gonna talk some more about it. Okay, so let's see where do we need to do this. Um, I'm gonna start from the tower builder because I don't know. I know what I need to modify. I don't know where that thing is actually uh, modules manager I think this is what I need get next possible module this is it this is what I need okay So what we need to do, so no, no, what we are doing here, that's the first thing that we, we need to, to, to look at. So so this method, basically what it does, you give it a tower module, and based on all the modules that are available in the, or, yeah, that are created in the game, let's, let's say, um, we are looking what other modules would fit on top of the one that we provide, this this origin. And the way we're doing this is we are making here a way of transforming uh, the let's get a module on the screen because it might be easier to, to, to talk with it on the screen. Uh, no, let's try something that has more. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do combine. So, so we have combined here. So this one has two imports and now in one output. And what we are doing here is so so yeah in the, in this method is for the origin we are getting all the outports. Oh, and I see a problem right away. I think 
no 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 that's fine yeah so so we get all the all the outports we get their angle because uh, if we look at how those ports are set up they're basically a, a, a simple angle from zero to to 360 or actually 259 um Yeah, so I get the angle, I put them in a hash set, and then I look at all the modules. And then I compare those two hash sets to see if they have the same values in them, basically. So from from yeah, from the origin I'm taking the, the outports. So, so the outports are the ports at the top of the module. And from the oh, from all other modules that I'm checking against, I'm taking the imports, and the imports are the one of the ones at the bottom. And we want to try to see if those two two modules fit together. Now, what we need to do is basically not only check the or, or, or those angles, but actually from those angles here, we have to transform them and get basically eight angles from them or ang angle sets or whatever. We need to get eight, eight hash sets from this. Um, Private So this is the base set. And what we are going to do is do a for loop. Um, we're going to start from one and go all the way to eight. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, this is how the for loop, the for loop should look like. And we're gonna do a yield break there. And here we're gonna do, uh, basically, actually what we need to do is, no, first we're gonna yield return the base set. And then we're gonna yield return the base set dot select. So this is the value, and we're gonna add 40, 45 to the value, 45 degrees. And we are gonna do modulus 360 here. And we're gonna make basically another hash set. Oh no, 45 times i. And we, need, we don't need this yield break here. So basically we get one set and we're getting out eight sets. This hard-coded eight here, it's not that pretty. Or no, it's not pretty at all. Um, let's see if we can get rid of it though there is yeah here we are going to use this let's put this here so not at our module but here yeah so 
port dot port not port step but export count and this 45 is port uh, port dot port step times i okay So what do we need to do here? We get this hash set. And we are going to do, I mean, hopefully if it works, we're going to say return, get variance for angle set. We can get any. What does this return? Wait, I need to do like a for loop of this. That's not that bad actually. Um, for each set. I use it, I, I enumerable. Okay, let's find something new. I don't know how to use this. Let's see how we can use it. Oh, I don't want to implement it, I want to return it. Wait, no, I copied the wrong thing. Not I enumerable, but I enumerator. Oh, you, you use it with a while loop. Wait, what? Saying that I need to do a while loop. Or whatever. While move next. dot current and set is now a hash set right yeah it's hash set of it
Oh, I can use a yield return there. Oh, okay. So then I can do this. That's what it means. For each. Let's get rid of this. Aha. So it is I enumerable. And I can yield return inside of it. Okay. Which now means that I can get this and say return this dot any set uh, I do this so this is this module will fit with the original one Let's get rid of this. So this, whatever, this M module will fit with the original one if any of the variants. So however, I rotate it, or or if I rotate it, there's a combination where where they would fit together. Cool. That is cool. One small thing though. Uh, I will also need the rotation. I will also need the rotation. So those variants, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get in a hash set and I'm gonna return back a, a tuple which is going to be an int and a hash set and the int is going to be angle and the hash set is quartz set whatever and here I'm going to turn zero and the base set and here I'm going to return D plus angle. We're going to turn the angle there. Now we're going to do first. Um, we're going to say this is a pair. Or no, variant. Uh, Variant variant dot ports or and here, yeah, and this is going to be the breaking change instead of returning a tower module, we are going to return. I don't want to return. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to return a tower module. I'm going to return an int angle. Or no, not not angle, but rotation. Int rotation and tower module here. Let's call this rotation as well. 
there too. And if I put any back here, this whole thing is gonna, yeah, it's not gonna work anymore. Yes, okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. Um, but we need to expand this a bit, so let's do return again. Oh, 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 oh. Our mo uh, let's change the music real quick. Hmm, what should we listen to? What should we listen to? I kind of just want to forget about this, just put some. Oh yeah, this yeah 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 yeah. And wait, no, this is fine. Yeah, let's shuffle this. Oh, the best song. Cool. So tower modules. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do a where. And this where is gonna be basically gonna do this. So where M does this. Yeah, it's not gonna be. It's not ready yet. Now we're going to do a select many from module to something. And that something is going to be, we're going to return. Let's get our angle set here. Or let's call this, let's call this base set. Get the variance for the base set. Um, we're gonna filter. Why can't I filter? Let's get rid of this because I don't need it anymore. If I do a worry here, it's going to work. Oh. Oh, it's not a filter. What the hell am I writing? This is it's where. Whatever. So get all the variants. Keep only the ones that uh, yeah, only the ones that fit. And say we're going to return variant and we're going to return uh, uh, variant dot rotation and the module itself. And actually that's it. Now we are having other problems, but we first need to do the same thing for for this method. We just need to to flip some things around here. So this has imports. So for from the M, we're gonna take the output origin imports outports for m okay okay so that should do it now where are we using this in a couple of places apparently First of them being here. We get a bunch of we get a bunch of tags and then we get a bunch of or not a bunch, but the previous module. Cool. Yeah, 
this is the one that we need. So this is not going to return a tower module. This is going to return this topple. We are going to get a nine memorable of this topple. This is going to be called variant. Oh no, just module. Ah, uh, let's just keep it as module. We're gonna do a select here to our modules. Um, from module to zero and module. We're going to return this like so. So now we fixed everything here, or almost everything. Uh, modules can be connected. Uh -huh. We're gonna get rid of this. I don't wanna fix it, and we don't need it. Save. And now we only have to fix like everything else. <laughs> now that I think about it. Because this will be uh, serialized. Ah, we can't do it with topples. Or can we serialize topples? Maybe we can. That would be so cool. Don't know if we can serialize topples. Should we serialize the, serialize the topples? That's a very good question. After we update this, uh, it's going to be uh, smooth sailing from there. Hmm. Should we use topples? Yeah. I think we're not going to use topples. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to use topples. We are going to make a public uh, struct. Uh, our module, our module variant. It's have it's gonna have public int rotation and public tower module data tower module and this is what we're going to return here. We're gonna say new this with rotation zero and tower module. Uh, no, no, my bad. Not here. We're gonna keep the topple here. Uh, here is where we're gonna change things up. Tower module variant. Tower module variant. Yeah. Here as well. Here and last one here. New tower module variant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rotation is variant dot rotate. Rotation and tower module is M. Let's copy over this to this place. Okay. Yeah, and this is tower module variant. That's capital T. Cool. And yep, here as well. New tower module variant. No, no, no. With 
But actually, should I do it like this? Yeah, if it's going to be a problem, I'm going to deal with it later. OK. Because now what we can do is get this data type, which actually I'm not going to keep it here. We are going to put it in the our module data. Yeah. Yeah, let's move this over. Cut this from here. Come on. Save our module data. Let's put it here at the top. Obviously, let's say that this is system serializable, so it works with uh, the serialization. There's going to be a list of this, our module variant. And now everything breaks. Everything, everything breaks. And now here we are going to. Even the fact that I only need it here, we're going to do public, public struct serialize this public, uh, what's this, public in rot rotation and public int um, module index, let's say, our module index. So it's going to be an array of those things. And now, this needs to be updated. Yeah. You realized this rotation is rotation and our module index is this dot this like so. and tor module is this okay so we fixed the serialization for the for the save and now let's fix the tower builder so yeah there are a lot of things that we'll have to fix in here uh, first of all actually we're gonna make this a class just so struct no it's gonna be class and this doesn't need to be serializable right no it has no it has to be because we're gonna show it in the UI okay so some stuff work okay now this is gonna be previous module the tower module spawn module async yeah tower module variant
So prefab container height int rotation. And the rotation, I'm gonna do Euler, zero rotation zero. There we go. Oh, uh, let's call this rot then. Okay, so the tower builder is fixed. Now I think we have some editors to fix as well. Tower module inspector. Let's see what what's not working here. Um, tower module and tower module. Okay, is that it? Could it be that that's everything? Let's see. This is a good step. Open this and there's no errors. That's a good first step. I hate that I don't see the images, but I have an idea how to fix this. There we go, we have images now. Okay. So how can we test this? Yeah, so if this or what we did here works, if I select the 180, what I expect to see is the 180 should be able to connect with itself. And it should be able to connect to all of the other pieces that are like the split data should be able to connect to it should be able to connect to, not parallel, but the straight piece. Yeah, this one and some other, actually that's kind of it actually. But it should be able to do that. And it does nothing. <laughs> okay, it doesn't connect to anything anymore. Nothing connects to anything. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, what now then? What now? Uh, why? And it's 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 coming from here or yeah. I mean, from those two, two, two methods, I'm really sure, but we have to see why. We have to check why. Um, I am going to take a short break though, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes and we're going to continue with uh, debugging this. But uh, yeah, we're on, the, we're on a good track. So see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I just saw the issue. I just spotted the issue. Uh, this where, I mean, both of these wares, those are the problems. So we want to keep the modules which have the same length, not the ones that have different lengths. So I think with, with this uh, changed, uh, we're going to see the, the correct modules connected to, to each other. So let's select 180 and there you have it. 180 now connects with the straight piece, even though this, uh, this module needs to be rotated to fit with this one. And now it fits with the split data. It fits with those new ones that we have, the XD, the tie. And now even the tech should be connected to something. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's not jump to conclusions, but nope, still not connected at the bottom with something. But at the top, there are multiples that we, that it can connect to. So, hell yeah. 
So one thing that we that we don't need anymore is the 180 reverse. So the 180 reverse we should get rid of because it's the right now in the, in the current system it's the same as the 180. It's just rotated, basically. Cool. Now, okay, so 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 we have debugged this in the sense that we see that the modules that we accept, or we see that the yeah the, the modules that we expect to be uh, connected to to a certain one are there. Now let's try to play the game. And this is where things might break, but hopefully not. And I already see something broken. <laughs> I already saw something that's broken. Let's disable gizmos. So we have one module, the second module, and this module here. Would be rotated, but it's. It is not. Okay, I know what the problem is now. Yes. Not done yet. I mean, it works, but it's, it doesn't actually work. So what I mean by that? In a tower builder, if we look at... Actually, if we look at this. We are passing a module here. And basically what we're doing here is say, okay, from all the modules that, that we have available, please get me one that, that fits nicely with this one. And that's fine. Except for the fact that this tower or the, this, this, this module might be rotated. So now this doesn't work anymore because if you just pass in the, the module with its, let's say default appearance, but in reality, he is actually rotated. All the calculations that we that we do from from here on out, it's, they're gonna be wrong. So what we actually need to do is not pass in the tower module, but pass in the whole variant. So this, this should not be tower module data, but in fact it should be tower module variant. And let's make sure that. It's correct what I'm saying. So if we look back in tower, yeah. So yeah, that that's right. So now we pass in the tower module variant, and in those methods, yeah. Instead of the tower module data, I mean we can do some helpers for the editor. Uh, yeah. So let's do this. Okay, so, no, I mean, yeah. Uh, tower module, so this is the origin and we are going to do in uh, rotation. Yeah, and rotation can be zero. And we're gonna add rotation here. And we are going to make an overload for this. Actually, it might not work because of that default value, but we'll see. So return. Um, get next. Uh, no, it's it is going to work. Never mind. Uh, this is not tower module data, but tower module variant. Origin. Origin dot our module and origin dot rotation. And now we need to do the same thing for the one above. So this one. Let's add rotation here. And we need the same. Copy this over. Like so. So now in where? Yeah, here. We are passing in the tower module variant. 
we are split splitting it into the tower in the tower in the total into the tower module and the rotation and here we are taking into consideration the the origin uh, the, yeah the origins uh, rotation cool so now uh, first of all, if we look in the inspector, uh, everything should be the same as it was. Yes, it is. And now that we have more modules, yep, this works. The the scroll bars uh, the scroll bars work. Cool. That's nice. Um, yeah. So so this still works. And now if we play the game, we should be able to see the tower in its full glory and without any modules that are uh, attached weird except for the fact that we are actually getting an error because god knows why Okay, we are getting an error, but I'm not quite sure why. That's actually an actual error here so if we have modules that length is zero There we go. That's fine. Let's try it again. Okay, clear. Let's play again. You might not hit the error, but we'll see. Oh, we got an error. No modules for 180 tower modules tag. Tower module searched none. None. That means that get next possible module resulted in nothing, which seems a little bit hard to believe.
Okay, let's put a point here, I guess. Uh, let's bugger. Let's see if there are any other breakpoints. No, there are not. So let's do this. And let's look into it. Oh yeah. Okay, I know why. Um, because we need to do three sixty here. Work now. Pretty sure. Play. We should get a, a, a really nice spiral. I'm not even gonna look at this. Really sure that's the problem. Yep. There we go. And now the the, the best part is that if we're going to look at let's pause. Um, let's look at the tower. Look at the set. Yeah, we we have both um, 180 reverse um, modules. Uh, what? Those modules are not in the order that I expect them to be in. But actually, it does make sense why it's like that. Anyway, yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, but we don't see, unfortunately, the, the thing that I wanted to see. Uh, let's uh, let's do something. Let's get to the 180 reverse, and let's re remove the tag. So now only the 180 has this tag. So we should force the tower builder to only use this uh, this module and still make out the tower. Yes, it did. So now if we look at the tower, yeah. And now it works as expected. I mean, it worked previously, but now it it does what uh, what I thought it would do. So we only have those. Type, those I mean, this one module type, but we are using it by rotating it. Getting the whole tower just with one piece. This is amazing. Oh, cool. this is. A very cool. So now we should be able to go to the levels and put that our module tag back. We are going to get rid of all the other tags though. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's see if there's anything else that I need to take care of. Let's Close the tab, let's open it again. Tower Builder, that's it. So now let's play. Oh, and yeah. Okay, now we have a tower. I mean, it's not a, nothing uh, spectacular, but yeah. Uh, one small thing though. We need to do the same thing for this, otherwise it won't work. Or this is this is editor though. But yeah, that won't that won't work if you don't. Uh, let's make the let's make the tower uh, taller. Let's see, tower builder. Let's say that I want at 30 seconds, whatever. 
Let's play and let's see how it looks. Because I want to force it to, to to use some modules in ways that it was not possible before. And... Oh... Oh. Wait, what? How is this even possible? Oh, yeah, tower data. That's what I need to, to look at. Yeah, modules. Weird. Let's trade data. So it had a combine before before it. Wait. This combine is weird too. Oh. No, no, that shouldn't be the case. What? What happened here? Why is this minus 180? Because it says here that it should be... It should be 180. Mm -hmm. And there it says it's, it's minus 180. I mean, 180 and minus 180 is the same thing, actually. Okay, okay, it's the same thing. Fine. And uh, let's verify. I'm pretty sure if I remove this. Yeah, it's the same thing. But now this one. Now this is a weird one. Why is this minus 90? Because it's 270. But still, why is it minus 90? Or whatever, 270. Because this should combine with it at uh, of zero. So there's still a problem somewhere. Uh, and it's uh, still in the modules manager. We still have an issue here, but I'm not sure what the issue is though. Get variants. Port step times i. This is an int. Yes, it is. We're adding the the value from the set. Right, the rotation to it. Making other hash set. Huh.
I don't really get it. I don't really get it. I don't really get it. Let's just look a bit. Uh, let's look at the, what is this, combine? I hate that there are no images. Uh, whatever. We're gonna deal with other images. Yeah, so combine should pull up to the straight piece. So we got here the combine with a rotation of 180. Yeah. of one eight are there any other rotated pieces? There's a 180 here for the para, it doesn't matter. It's 180 for a helix, also doesn't matter if it's symmetric, symmetric parallel doesn't matter. And then it comes with the combine with a 180. I think about it, boy. On the other side. Oh shit, the order matters. Uh, we can't use hash sets. We need to use lists or arrays. The order matters. A module with 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 an output of zero and one eight, it's it should not connect with a module that has one eighty and zero. But if you put those numbers into hash sets, the matter all the values are there. No, wait, no, but, but we can't, no, no, that make it too hard to, to know the order of those. Um, yeah, I understand why, or I'm about to understand why, it, why it's happening. Let's go to the module. Um, yeah, I have all the, the data I need. Um, we're gonna close it. Let's go to the module. Because the module doesn't look as I, as I remember, so let's see if it's flipped. It's not flipped.
this has no rotation. Okay. This has no rotation. Uh, oh my god, I need to put a uh, tower module. Um. Selection base. Please, I need this. And it seems like this 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 error happens quite a lot, so it doesn't matter if we restart. Okay, we start with this piece which has a rotation of what um, okay rotation of zero because that's how it whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, something breaks there Let's pause the game. Okay, so this. R. Look at R data. This is an import at 0 and 45. And an output at 0. At 0? How is that 0? The hell is that zero? What? How the what? Zero. Okay, so I need, to, I need to look from max, because that's the zero. What the hell did it work previously? Because I never inspected it like this. Oh. What the hell happened? Did I do? Okay, I think Unity crashed. It crashed. This is a strange bug. Strange bug. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's make the tower a little bit shorter. Let's say that we only want like, I don't know, 10 modules. No, uh, definitely not 1000. 10 modules, 10 modules, right? 10 modules, cool. Let's play again. Uh, this needs to be active. Play. Okay, we have errors. That's nice. Okay, so we should look from this direction then. That, those are zeros. 
Oh, and and just just so I'm not going going. To, uh, where are the modules? Modules. This tr this is it at mm, it's still at zero. What? Okay, I'll get it. Parallel, it's it has a rotation of zero. Cool. Combine has a rotation of zero. Okay. Now the one eighty has a rotation of ninety. Why? Why is this? Ro yeah. Why is this rotated? Be actually maybe minus ninety. Um, we need to do something here. Um, to help us debug. Tower module. Drop points, whatever. First, we're going to do this offset and then, um, what else do I need? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to also rotate them. I'm going to push the angle to this. I'm going to. Transform that Euler angles Y. Gonna add that. Yeah, that should do it for now. Uh, let's just plan. But actually, to be honest, I don't like this. Um,
Actually, I don't know which one. I I think this was the one that I need. Um. I think I need this rotation, and I think here. That's in zero. Let's see if it works. I think it's gonna work, but yeah, we shall see. Pop this. Let's take this module and let's try to rotate it. Yeah, the points are moving with it. That's awesome. Now let's do the same thing for the splines. Spline. Go, gizmos. Root position, nope. Vector 3.0. Here we're gonna do gizmo dot. Actually, no. Where did I took that from? From the transform. Okay. Gizmos dot. Nope. Matrix is gonna be equal to transform that local to world matrix. Also, let's get rid of uh, lighting. Yeah. Yeah. So now, even uh, even the the splines are attached, are rendered in the correct position. Okay. Now let's look for any problems here. Yep. There we go. We have one. So this one, so what's this? This is a combine and this is a split. So let's look for a combine with uh, a rotation of zero in here. Combine zero, straight and split. This is the this is where the uh, no, this split and this is helix. No, so yeah. Combine straight split. The question is now. Why does the straight module think that it needs a 90 degrees rotation? Oh. Um. Yeah. Why the hell does it need that? Why does it think that it needs that rotation? The exit is nine. Is it ninety? We need to rotate it the other way around. Need to rotate it the other way around. Uh. Try to understand this a bit. So let's put it at zero. Yep, yep, is the other way of how I guess angles work in uh, when you do math. Because if you think of at, at the angle, and you think of the um, what is it called trigonometric circle? If you increase the the the, the 
rotation, it should rotate counterclockwise, but here it, rotain, uh, it, it rotates clockwise. So actually, the problem is not that the, 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 the tower pieces are chose wrongly, but the problem is that they are shown wrongly. So we need to go to the tower builder. And in our spawn sink, actually need to do minus rotation. Yep. You need to rotate it the other way around. Because all the ca calculations that I'm doing, uh, I'm doing with the, with the angles and stuff in here, I'm thinking the angles as, as you do for, for, for like when, when you're doing math, but Apparently it's the other way around here. So now we have the tower which has the correct, I mean, yeah, it has the correct uh, modules in the correct order and rotation. So we have this, we have a helix, we have a, another helix, we have a combined split tie, and this, from the tie, we got a, another, Combine, but on the other side of the tower. Yep, it's working. It is working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, where are they? Where, where are they being teleported? <laughs> what? 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 Nine items. Well, hello. One. That's the second one. Uh, let's do a let's do a properties. Oh no, let's do properties for this. Okay. The first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. Yep. Fourth. What? Where did the... <laughs> Where did the... Where did the street piece go? Or why is it not in the composites plane? <sighs> okay. I mean, there could be so many problems. Maybe it's not in the tar modules. Composites planned, failed. Ah. Let's let them be. Let's close this.
Ah, that's that's perfect. I didn't have my debugger attached because I restarted Unity. Okay, we have a hit. So tower modules, there are 10 tower modules. That's what I expect to see. Let's go inside of this. Wait, what? Pretty sure I clicked on this, not on composite splines, but... Okay... Kind of want it here. Fair. I don't need this anymore. Maybe I'm um, no, let's put one here. So there are ten modules, that's right. I is zero. I'm gonna go in here. Let's go in generate three roots. The spline splines. Oh, yeah, for each port, we're gonna get the splines. We're gonna make a spline tree from each of the splines. That seems fair. So now we have two roots. What module was this, the first one? Actually, I can look at this, right? So this was combined. Yeah, so from two to one. So yeah, two roots, that's, that's right. Let's put a check, no, let's put a check here. Okay, so now this is the second module and this is a straight module. Okay, let's go inside of this. Add splines to tree. How the hell did I get inside get leaves? Okay. Um, but anyway, get leaves. Okay. I should have two leaves. Yes, there are two. Then I'm gonna get for all the imports. Which there's only one. Okay. I'm gonna go for each spline. Gonna get the angle between the whatever. Get the leaf, get the spline, last waypoint and its angle. Get the spine, the first waypoint.
Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense to skip it. No, this doesn't match up. Yeah, no, here. Yeah, it might be that they don't match up. But how could... Uh, of course they won't match up if they're rotated. Uh, we need to get the rotation of the module in here. We need the rotation of the module. Unfortunately. We need to add the correct angle or correct rotation of the pulse here. Yup. Because basically what I'm doing here. But no, wait. What what does this return? It returns a waypoint. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. So this returns exactly what 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 is set up. Yeah, no. That's that's that is wrong. Yeah, I need the rotation of the modules here. Okay. 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 Let's stop this. Let's move on and let's exit play mode. So here, instead of getting the tower modules, this we are going to get tower module and and rotation. Same thing. Our module, science, blah blah blah. We don't care. Uh, here we're also gonna say public in station. So here let's save it. One station is module station. Here too. Module dot tower module dot this. And let's see. Um, uh, here is gonna be plus leaf dot rotation modulus three sixty. Modulo module low. How you say it, and here it's gonna be this plus module dot rotation modulo 360. There we go. And now in the tower builder, we need to change it. We're gonna say tower modules dot select. Actually, do we need? Does this need to be an array? Not really. I'm gonna make this be a. Yeah.
So now I can do my select here. So I am going to say module uh, and index. And I'm going to return module and the tower, tower data dot modules of I rotation uh, index not I. There we go. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now is play a couple of times and see if all my composite splines have uh, the correct number of uh, splines attached. <gasps> nice! There we go with this piece. Oh my god. <laughs> we need to add the rotation to the yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's another bug that we need to fix. Um, let's put a pause on this. Um, tower. Let's look at the composite splines. Wait, what? No. What? <laughs> the first one, and this is the... Second one, and, and there are, or there is nothing else after this. What? Oh. Let's put this with a capital R. There we go. Yeah, I forgot to add the rotation here, so... That meant that it was zero, so yeah, all the calculations were a certain point. They were not good. Or actually, no, after not a certain, but act actually the second module. Uh, let's pause this tower tower builder segment two composite splines this has 10 items and this has 10 items perfect ten 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 cool let's try again I'm gonna try a couple of times Oh, there are a lot of them here. 
and all of them have 10 items. That was weird. Let's do that. And I think the weirdness is gonna go away. I really wrap my mind about around what's actually going on just by looking at it. But uh, I'm pretty sure the problem comes from the fact that um, Let's go to a spline. The spline does a rotation. That's, that's a very big problem, actually. It's a very big problem. No. Do I, do I not have a reference to... I don't. That's not cool. I don't have reference to to my tower. That's not cute. Uh, go to module path. Yeah. Basically, I would need a reference to the module itself, so I can get the the rotation from it. Ah, gonna be fun. Okay, so let's put it right under global tower data. Uh, actually, let's play the game. Cause I'm, I think I'm gonna do something smart, hopefully. Get out of here. Play. I'm gonna play the game just so that um, the code doesn't compile. Doesn't mess anything that I do here. Okay, so private. Uh, actually, we need the transform directly, so let's get the transform. Uh, module root. I'm gonna put this here. An inspector init. We're gonna do Private void setup path. No, setup point point dependencies. Setup path. Actually, no, spline. 
dependencies. And we're going to say if uh, module root not null, let's return. Otherwise, we're going to try to get the module root. So the module root is going to be equal to um, get component in parent tower module as a program. Oh yeah. And we want to get it transformed. Except that maybe it's not there. So in that case, I'm going to say if tower module is not null, then get its transform, otherwise null. Now let's use this up here. And now let's actually use it. So where do I want to use this? When I get the points, that would be where? Is it this? Okay, no. Oh yeah, evaluate. Yeah, internal evaluate. Internal evaluate. This is the one. The closest. Point. Point. Um. Closest point to cached values. Yeah, no, here is where we need to do this. Hmm, wait. Uh, how do I rotate this? Actually, no, that's exactly what I need. Or no, I need the rotation because I need it as a quaternion. Is not the other way around, right? Yes, it's not. Maybe this is going to work. I know how to test it though, that's the the, the fun part. Uh, the project is on a drive with this big... Emergency, there's emergency. We need to get rid of stuff. Fast, 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 fast. Uh, 21st of November, sure, get rid of this. Oh, saved. What's this stream? There are how many streams do I need to? Three streams. Okay. I can get rid of those two. Yeah, I need to get rid of some some recordings of some streams. 
or some some past streams. I only have two and a half hours left to stream, unless I <laughs> unless I make more space on my drive. Um, yeah. Da da. This paid off. So, eh, well, actually, it was it's almost there, but not quite. So, um. I have to do something. I knew I had to do it, but I forgot. <laughs> um, editor utility dot uh, set the t this. If I don't make the if I don't make the the object dirty, um, it won't let me save. Basically, it doesn't know that something has changed, so I need to to set it up dirty. So let's try it again. I go into 180, click on the path, and now it is set and now have this i mean it says that there is a there is a change and we need to save there we go so now we just have to click on the pads themselves we don't have to drag the we don't have to drag the path itself it's going to automatically assign the value so it's going to be easy to do save I don't even want to imagine how much it would have took me to do this if I didn't implement this code. <laughs> Just dragging and dropping the the object on that field. Cool. Let's play. This might work or this might break everything or yeah it might make it look weird oh it is moving okay this is the same module so whatever yeah this is the part we need to uh, actually well Okay, so we go to the left, so let's see if it goes on to this. It does. There's some errors that we need to look into. Don't know what's that about. Let's look at this as well. Ooh, I don't know what this is about. What? what? Rigid body position. Yep, they look fine. Let's medium enemy motion. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I've never seen this before. But 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 I saw where where it happens. It happens when we switch from one or at least like. Yeah, when we switch from one spline to another, I think there's the problem. Maybe, maybe I'm not sh totally sure, but I think I've seen that. So let's look at this. We have a tie here. So sh this should go just straight up, and also we can test something. Let's look at the modules and see if there are any. Oh yeah, 
that's the thing that I wanted to, ch or other that I wanted to check, but that I can check. So if I click on a module, come on, stop. Oh, I can click on a module there. Duh. Stop it. Let's take this module. Okay, I should be able to to rotate. And yeah, yep, yeah, the, the enemies are moving with the tower. Because the... Yep. Nice. Because the enemies... The, the, the supplies take into, into consideration the rotation of the... Of the module. Holy shit. Shit. Okay. This parks. Uh, this parks ideas. But anyway, we we made this work, so everything seems to be fine now. I think we are done with this task. Um. Yeah, I have to look into that, um, into that error. I don't know what that is about. But I think we're done with this one. So many stuff to commit. Let's see. Tower prefab. Uh, no, actually, the tower prefab we don't need to do. Uh, let's switch this back to five modules. And now it's gone. Man, they messed up this collaborate tab so bad. So bad. All the code. Yes, 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 we need it. Uh, yeah, that one too. All the modules. Sure. And that's it. Okay. So this is a feature. Cool. So one task done. More to go. Uh, but to be honest, I don't know if I want to do them. Um, or... So the thing is, this one, uh, this one requires me to do a, actually, it won't be that bad. But it requires me to do a custom inspector for the tower module data. So we can see the the rules that I'm talking about, which I can do. Not a problem, actually. And this is a big one. It's gonna be a big one. Well, no. This is the 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 things we need to do for this are pretty easy. Uh, so there's not gonna be that's not the, the 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 worst part the worst part is gonna be how do we show this into the UI like and so it so it makes sense we need to yeah we need to show errors that's gonna be not fun yeah
Yeah, I think we're gonna stop here for today. To be honest, I think we're gonna stop here. Maybe we're gonna do another stream tomorrow, and uh, work on those two and maybe the others as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stop for today. Cause those those two are gonna take a while to do, and my storage space is not gonna hold up for for both of them. But the most important one, or except for the for the bug fixes that we really needed, the this this is this is a big one for for us to continue uh, working on the modules. So so yeah. Yeah, that one that one was very important. Those other two are gonna be necessary for making uh, uh, for making the levels. So okay, we have we we now can make modules. We now can assign modules to levels, but now we need to know if the levels that we create are indeed correct and are going to behave correctly uh, when the game runs so yeah yeah we are going to to delay those two. we are going to uh, we're going to do them uh, next stream uh, and we're going to stop we're going to stop here for today so yeah for being here and see you see you next time bye bye